hi guys what is going on so it has been so long since we talked i have something big to tell you because it has been on my heart to tell somebody besides my family um i am going to see a weight doctor today i don't know his actual definition of what he is but it is a weight surgeon and I am looking into getting weight loss surgery. I never thought it would come to this about going to see one, but I hit my highest weight that I have ever hit in my entire life. And I said, once I hit this weight, I've said this since I've met Adam, um, I've said this for years. Like we were like, we were, I don't even know what year this was. I think it was 15. We were, like, I was big. I've always been big. I have been pleasantly plump. Um, I played softball throughout high school. So it wasn't like I was, like, a sluggish person. But I've always been pleasantly plump. And I said, since I've met Adam, since I've had been born. Well, not really. Because I never thought about this at 16. But ever since I grew up and hit 21, if I said I, if I ever hit this weight, that I would have surgery without a doubt it's my last draw and I have come to it where I've hit the weight I'm not at the weight anymore but I hit the weight and that's what matters because if I am this close to hitting the weight I don't want it to fluctuate and go higher oh my gosh guys hi I know it has been a while. How are you guys doing? Let's take a drink real quick and remember this moment. So it is currently and the clip that you guys saw at the beginning was recorded in December 2021. You heard it there. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok, um, you probably are left in the dark and you're probably don't know what happened and where I have been, but I had bariatric gastric bypass weight loss surgery on March 28th, 2022, which was 11 weeks ago. The video you saw previously, I don't even remember recording. I was in a, I don't want to say a dark state, but at the time I had had very, very long months, um, seizures, everything you could think about, I had. So it was a very, very hard last couple, a year and a half. I have a lot to catch you up on. <laughs> the most thing is that I am married. We are still married. We're still in the same house. We still do everything the same, um, except I am a bariatric weight loss patient now. So the only thing that's changed and our dog got bigger. Um, I don't even think I updated you guys on the dog. Uh, the cats are bigger. A bunch of things has changed, but the main reason why I'm coming back to YouTube was because I want to share my journey more on YouTube and share my journey more on TikTok, which I have been doing. A lot of people follow me on TikTok, want to see more, and I feel like I can do more on YouTube than I can do on TikTok because three minutes is a long time, but if I want to expand, it's too many videos, I feel, so I think YouTube is the place to be, and I love editing videos, so... I'm just, I gotta fix my chair. I'm just so excited to be back, but let's get back to that first clip of me. Y'all, so let's give an update. Super excited to tell you guys, but I am struggling to keep shirts that fit. So I am currently 11 weeks post surgery of gastric bypass. Um, the reason why I picked gastric bypass over the VSG, I was very, very debating each. I had lists and lists and lists pros and cons of both. Um, the cons were more on the sleeve side than it was gastric bypass because gastric bypass was the golden standard of bariatric surgery. And it came down to my surgeon's opinion. And at the beginning, I didn't know what 
I was going into. <laughs> I didn't even know the doctor's name. Meanwhile, he was a bariatric surgeon. Um, but anywho, that clearly I wasn't in the right state of mind when I was making those videos. I was just here to document what I was going through. There's more videos. It. I did like 30 to 45 minutes of me just talking into the camera so I can eventually add more clips in to show. Um, but it blows my mind. So I just, the video stumped me. I honestly cannot explain how amazing it is to find footage that I really don't remember recording <laughs> and to see where I am now, where I was previously. So let's give an update on everything that has been going on. So I'm going to give an update. So today is Friday, June the 17th, 2022, and I am currently down 56 pounds, 11 weeks post-op. Um, Monday will be 12 weeks post-op. So that's roughly two and a half months that I am post-op gastric bypass. It has been a roller coaster, which we can get into another video, um, but it has been the best roller coaster I've been on. Um, sometimes it's worse, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Like I said, we can get into it more later on, but it has been the best journey of my life. I do say all the time when people ask me, I do think, I will tell you that this surgery definitely has changed my life. I went from, which is not medically proven, but I went from having 20 seizures a month to barely any. If you do know my past and if you paid attention to my TikTok, Instagram, all my medical history, I did have, I was diagnosed with two grand mal seizures, my focal seizures, my pseudotumor cerebrae. It was a rough year. Then I got married. So it was a bunch of stuff. So. With all that being said, and then I got on birth control, I gained a crap ton of weight, stayed at home, didn't have a job, didn't have a license, gained weight. I was working out because I wanted to look good on my wedding, but I didn't do the best that I thought I did. I thought I was doing good until I had weight loss surgery and now I'm looking like a whole meal other than that. But yeah, I had weight loss surgery and ever since March 28th of 2022 it literally has changed it literally changed me I can't really explain it my neurologist my headache neurologist and my seizure neurologist are both amazed that I went from having migraines every single day and seizures every single day to nothing so they don't want to say that the seizures were, were caused by my weight gain, but my pseudotumor cerebrae was caused by my weight gain because I did gain like 80 pounds since my IUD got inserted, since my depot was injected into me. I Birth control screws you up and I am an example of that. All added up and ever since my surgery, my weight loss surgery, it has slowed down. So I'm still on medication for seizures and on medication for migraines, but it's been equaling out and leveling out and it has forever changed my life. Um, so I'm here to say that I'm coming back to YouTube um, slowly, but surely I'm going to come up with new content, try on hauls because I fluctuate in my appearance now. Um, it's hard to t say and hard to explain, but like my top half is, everything's changed. I, I can't stop smiling. So another non-scale victory, non NSV non-scale victory is when the last time I was on here and we did our engagement photos, I was a size 22 jean and I went to Maurice's a couple days ago and I fit a size 14 jean. I would have fit a 16 if they had it in store, but they didn't. But I fit a size 18 in dark wash. I guess it's a different material when it's dark. Don't know, help me out. So I got in a size 18 jean Capri um, and I bought them. And then I also fit extra large shirts now and I was pushing a 3X shirt. Like this shirt on me now is a 3X. I have to fit it a certain way so my bra straps don't show. 
it has been a whirlwind i had to get new underwear um expenses everywhere um but it has been the best journey of my life i'm gonna make this short and sweet just because i'm doing a welcome back video and i wanted to say what is going on and water sip because always water yes i'm drinking from a straw i got cleared to drink from a straw i got cleared to chew gum to chew mints everybody's doctors has different opinions that is a different topic in a different video but basically everything is the same food wise i eat low carb keto except smaller portions so i can't wait to share my journey with you guys i can't wait to come back onto youtube and record videos and share my journey with you um share more renovations with our house we're doing our back bathroom that's the last room in our house that needs done um, we did do our laundry room off camera because i wasn't recording at the time sorry but i can show you before and after pictures but a lot of things have changed I have to show you the dog he's gotten large and in charge if you don't follow me on instagram and if you don't follow me on tiktok you gotta follow me there because everything gets posted there apollo has an instagram and he has a tiktok I'm trying to make him famous so i don't have to work as much but welcome back to the channel i should say welcome back to me because i need to come back so i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe and stick around and stay and if you are a bariatric patient weight loss patient or if you're searching or looking to do weight loss surgery and you have any questions comment down below message me on instagram i am an open open book watch my stories you will know and let's chat but i'm back and i hope this means that i will stick and stay with youtube as long as i can keep up with it and edit videos quicker than before because i tried so hard before and that's what pushed me overboard so if you made it this far don't forget to subscribe and like this channel and i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope i didn't ramble that long to have to edit it bye guys